Coming up on Mobile Learning in the Classroom, cross-device reading apps. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin and this is Mobile Learning in the Classroom from TechEdge and today we're talking about cross-device reading apps. And when I talk about cross-device, I talk about apps that really can be used on any device. And we're seeing more and more of those and today I want to focus on a few reading ones, especially for younger readers, elementary and middle school readers. And in another show we'll talk about reading comprehension for more sophisticated users at the high school or beyond level. And uh, the important thing, again, is that when we're having a mix of devices or we're not sure what we're going to be able to have, um, we're starting to seeing schools with different generations of different devices. So having different devices actually, the accessibility on different devices is actually really helpful. The first reading app is Read With Me. It's from uh, Intel Education. And it's a great new app that I just uh, used. It can be used in your browser, so it is transportable. And in this case, uh, I'm using it inside Chrome. What you can see is right now the teacher dashboard. I have only one student, but I can also go to the library. And what you can see is that the library is a series of books at an early uh, level for young readers who are just starting to learn their sounds and uh, mostly short vowel sounds and then as it advances in levels it gets to longer sounds and frequently uh, used words that are more sophisticated. And one of the things that you do is you try out uh, to see so you can record your voice and here it is. This is a, one of the stories and I'll show you how this goes. So this is called bag tags and the minute you press start it starts recording your voice and then the teacher can uh, hear that as well. And so bag tags, and you press next. This bag has a tag, cat. What is in it? A dog? This bag has a tag, dog. What is in it? A cat. I can fix this, I can mix this. The cat is in, the dog is in. Pigs. So now you can see that we get a score. This, these are ribbons based on the fluency that you read in and as you can see these were all short vowels mostly short a vowels but it's got some others so you can actually get a sense of how students are proceeding and you can also listen to how they read so there's a way to really get what's going on and now you can also go to practice specific words and so you can study the words Can't and then say them. So those are the words that you can practice out of that reading. Dog. And you can go back to your history and here are the books I read and the ribbons I got. So you can see how kids can read these books over and over again until they're fluent. And you can see also on the sidebar that there are multiple levels. So it starts with these two books that, uh, that are represented here, but it also goes all the way to more sophisticated books in the library. And when I say sophisticated, they're still within the realm of early readers, but you can see you have something like the birthday present. So these are polysyllabic words that do represent a bigger challenge, longer sentences, longer, uh, longer pages. So you get a much better sense of how students are uh, being able to do that. And uh, you can stop at any point and go back to the library. So this is a great way to see what's going on. This is a great way. There's a teacher dashboard that shows what level your students are, where are they, and how much work they've done. And this can be collected to a central device. So when you log in as a teacher, and I'm logged in as a teacher, it allows you to see what everybody else in the class has done, allowing for individualization and uh, your own work. So this is the first one, and as I said, it's called Read to Me. The second one is an app that shows up differently, but with the same content for the iPad. And I've shown it before on the iPad and I'm going to show it right now on the computer. So this is what are your favorite subjects, history, adventure, and uh, the world. And then uh, I need to pick a few more exploration and ancient cultures. And that allows them to sort through the vast 
number of stories that they have in their, uh, in their website. And you can see that there's a collection of my books and I don't have anything yet, but I have recommended books and those come up. Uh, the other thing you can see is that uh, you can go to the books you recently read. This is a book I recently looked at and it's a book about the ninja. And what you can see is that it loads it looking like a book and you can navigate the pages as uh, you get along. So I can take it all the way back to the beginning and now I can read the books and a click or a swipe on the iPad will move you pages so you can read this or you can get this read to you and you can see that I can zoom in and out so if you want to look more more closely at the art in this case there's fantastic art or if you want to uh, get the words to be a little bit bigger because uh, you need the font to be a little bigger you can do that on the screen as well and then you, uh, you can do different activities that are connected to the book and uh, it allows you to really interact with the book more specifically. But really, this app is designed to provide lots of reading opportunities for students' books across subjects so they can really help kids advance their reading ability. The one thing that I would suggest from experience is if you've got advanced readers, they may want to enter their age as more as older than they actually are, so it gives them a different selection of books and that helps uh, manage that as well. So you can see, you can roll through the book, you can read it out loud and, uh, and enjoy it and learn from it. So it's a way to use the devices to access a very rich library even if you don't have a rich library in your classroom, which we always want to have, but there's a limit to how many and how many levels we can have. And here there are hundreds to thousands of uh, titles that are available. And definitely if our school doesn't have enough or doesn't have enough for our readers, this is another way to connect. Uh, the last app I want to talk about is an app I talked about before. I'm going to actually use it from my iPad, Newsomatic is an app that allows uh, to read and who are you? I'm an educator. If you are a teacher, you can log in and you can register and teachers register free. So that's definitely worth it. And I'm not going to go through the registration process because I'm actually already registered. So this really functions as a daily newspaper and every day there are new stories in Newsomatic. And what you can see is that the titles are organized in a way that's very attractive for the readers. It has newsrooms, it has stories that are from the news uh, in a political sense. There's uh, news about science, news about sports. So, uh, for example, we can look at the search for Sam. This is could kids look for a toy dog they sent to the end of space so you can see how the story uh, develops here it's a fairly short story one of the things that you can find very quickly is what level it is so newsomatic does let you know which levels they are they are for the middle grades from about middle elementary all the way to the end of a uh, middle school would work really really well and there's a good collection of a uh, access to facts and then ways to act and help if there it calls for action and really lots of neat features that allow kids to really engage with reading on a device or on the screen with a good content that is designed for kids that you can trust that is appropriate and that includes a very rich vocabulary that helps push that notion of language and vocabulary development, which is one of the things we are most uh, interested in doing at this point. There are some games, but they're very basic games. I don't think that's what uh, this app is really all about. And again, the beauty of this app is that there are new stories every day. Kids can choose what they're interested in, but they're still doing deep, rich reading 
with the vocabulary and world of ideas and things they can later discuss and share with others. So this is Newsomatic. So today we talked about a few reading apps that really help and get kids going with reading and really work across devices. So even if you have a mixture of devices or a few devices in your room, you can work with all of them. And I'll see you next time on Mobile Learning in the Classroom.